The child care industry is feeling some major impacts from the COVID-19 shutdowns and restrictions. Some parents are finding it difficult to get the child care they need, but there are problems on the other side as well. Some daycare centers are struggling to get enough parents willing to put their children in their care because they want their kids to be at a safe social distance from others as well. Jamie Perez reports. With schools being closed and daycare restrictions in place, some parents are wondering where to get the care that they need. I've had an influx of daycare workers as well as teachers and other people who have been losing their jobs looking for work. Michaela Berry owns the Peace of Minds Nanny Agency. She said teachers who are now out of work from school closures are going through her agency to offer one-on-one -on -one care for the parents who don't want to put their child in a child care center around so many other kids. And so my role is somewhat of a matchmaker of putting um, nannies and families together who I know will work well together and be able to to create a, a welcoming and loving environment for the children. While teachers and nannies are able to find work this way, it's putting a strain on the child care centers who are in need of more kids to come to them to keep their centers running. Macy Bueller owns the Yahara River Learning Center in DeForest. She said she's already laid off half her staff because not enough children are being placed in child care centers like hers because they're going through agencies that are pairing them with in-home nannies. It's just an industry that's going to be really hard hurt and I don't know that um, we will have care for children when this is done, and I don't know how workers will go back to work. According to a recent study done by the National Association for the Education of Young Children, if child care centers don't get enough parents willing to send their kids to them for care, about 30% will likely close permanently. But there's another issue. Some child care workers and nannies aren't willing to take care of kids right now because they're scared about their own health. Yeah. The nannies are, are scared. The kids, um, it sounds like they don't really show symptoms, um, but they can pass things along. I mean, we don't live with the family, so we have our own families that we have to worry about. Jill Hagen is a part-time nanny with the La Creme Agency and said she knows a lot of full-time nannies who are feeling this way. But there's an issue on the nanny side, too. Uh, uh, parents are off work, so they don't need their regular nanny. While parents may have a solution to child care that can be fixed through a number of ways, it's leaving child care centers in the dark, waiting for help from the government like many other businesses in the country right now. Businesses are not going to be able to continue to take on more debt and then be an affordable option for families. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. Many businesses are still waiting on federal and state grants to help them during this time. If you are in need of child care, Jamie has put together a list of resources for you. Just head over to our website, channel3000.com.